Combining multiple signals from different indicators just got a whole lot easier with the Predator X. Now, before we get started, this video is going to be a little bit more on the advanced side of things. If you're newer to the Predator or haven't really used a custom signal system yet, I do highly recommend watching both of these videos. They will go over how the Predator's custom signal system works and how we can easily automate a number of third-party indicators. I want to try and keep this video as short as possible. I don't want to waste too much time going over things we've already covered much better in a different video. So please, if you're new to the custom signal system, save this video, go watch the other ones, and then come back to this one. I promise you, it will make things a whole lot easier to understand. And for those of you who are completely new here, the Predator X is an order entry and management system that allows users to create a number of fully or semi-automated strategies. One of its main features being the ability to automate third-party indicators, just like we're going to show in this video. There is a free trial of the Predator over on Discord, and we also have a full user guide on our website. All the links are going to be down below, but with that, let's get right into it. Our first feature is for our custom filter signals. And what this feature does is just the ability to cancel our filter after a set number of bars pass. So I'm going to be using this NINS indicator as a quick example. So all this cancel after X bars does is let's say we turn on our filter. This is an on and off switch that's going to allow a separate entry to take place within this filter range. You have one signal to turn on your filter and then you have a separate signal that's going to turn off the filter. So this one is a short filter. So any short trades that we have to find can only take place within this range. If your short entry signal takes place outside of the range, it's not going to execute that trade. So a scenario that many of you seem to run into is you get that short filter signal in this example, but you only want to take a trade within maybe five, 10 bars after that filter. And then the filter is considered overextended. You no longer want to take trades or maybe just whatever indicator you're using as a signal doesn't actually give you an exit or an off point. So now with this new feature, we're going to be able to use many more indicators in order to filter our trades. So let me set something up real quick just to show a quick example of this in action. So what I'm going to run is just a simple multi time frame signal. This is going to turn on my filter and I'm just looking for a simple reversal within maybe 10 bars after we get this filter. So don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this. I, again, I'm using this NINSA indicator as an example. I know a lot of you guys are using it, but really this works with any indicator that has some sort of a signal. So the first thing I want to do is define my entry signal or entry order. And this is going to be the thing that when it's detected, it's going to actually submit the order. So like I said, I'm just using a simple reversal for this example. So I'm going to scroll down here and this one is built directly into the Predator. I have another video of how to set this up, how this works. Again, make sure you guys check out the user guide, but I'm just going to set this up. And now all I want to do is set the filter. So it only takes reversals within a custom signal filter. So all I have to do, go to custom signals. We're going to expand this and select the filter signals. For this one, I'm keeping it simple. I'm just using one. And from here, we need to set up the tags for our indicator. Again, I'm not going to waste too much time on how to extract these tags. The other videos I linked earlier will explain this in a whole lot more detail. So for this, I'm just going to breeze by it because I already have it copied on another screen here. But basically, we're just getting the tag for the signal for the start. And because this indicator does give us an end point, not all indicators will. If you're using the cancel filter after X bars, you can just leave the off part blank. But because this indicator does give us that exit point, we may as well use it. When the tags are the same, we just need that color identifier. And these are all Dodger blue and hot pink. And no, I messed this up. These are Dodger blue and these are hot pink. 
So make sure you have the correct tag and the correct color for each signal. And now we're going to select this cancel filter after X bars. And from here, this is how many bars pass after you get that on filter. These many bars will pass. Once they do, it will automatically shut off your filter and it's no longer going to allow any new trades. So let's go to our chart, see how this looks. All right, so here on our chart, we're just going to enable it. And as always, make sure you check your validation system. Everything has a check mark. And if you're using the color identifier, make sure it has that color as well. So now I'm just going to play it and see if we get some sort of a signal. So right now we're just waiting for that. There we go, actually. That went a little quick, but here we had our short filter on signal. As you can see up here, it turned on our short filter. And now within that range, it allowed this reversal to take place and it entered us into the trade. So now let's keep playing it. And as you can see, after 10 bars passed, it turned off our short filter automatically. And now it's no longer going to allow any new trades to take place within this range. So let me keep playing it, see if we get a few more examples. So here, this reversal took place, but because our short filter was off, uh, it didn't take that one. And guys, remember, I'm just showing this as an example. I have not tested this particular setup. You can literally use this for really any indicator that has some sort of a signal. All right, so here we have a long filter turned on, and now we're looking for a long reversal. So we'll need at least one red bar and another green bar. And 10 bars passed, we didn't get that reversal, it automatically turned off our filter. So we'll see if maybe we get one more example and then we'll move on to the next feature. Okay, so here we got our short filter signal. It turned on our short filter and we got a reversal right away. So it entered us into that short position. And I think that just about covers how that function works. Very straightforward. It's just going to cancel that filter after a set number of bars pass. Now let's go back into the properties. All right, this next feature is something that I think is going to help a lot of you guys out there. This tends to come up quite a bit in our group and that is the ability to combine multiple signals from different indicators. So let's take this for an example. First, we have an opening range indicator. We have the NinjaTrader MACD, and we also have this NINSA multi time frame indicator. What if we want to take a trade when all three of these indicators are in alignment? So we're above the opening range, the MACD is above the line, or the diff is above zero, and we have a multi time frame to the bullish side. In the past, this was maybe a little bit difficult because we had to set up multiple filters and then one single entry, and it could become a little bit confusing, maybe a little bit of a headache to set all of this up properly. So don't worry, we simplified it in this version. Let's go into the properties. So for this example, we are actually getting rid of any other auto entry. We are just using filters. And I know I said earlier in this video that you cannot enter with just a filter. Well, that was a little bit of a lie now because we've actually added this feature when we are combining multiple filters. So again, we have our MTF indicator from earlier. I'm just going to cancel the cancel filter after X. You can keep that on if your strategy calls for it. But for this example, all of my filters give me an exit point, so I don't really need it. But again, you can do whatever fits your strategy. So what I'm going to do is add two or three. This feature only reveals itself once you have multiple filters. So we added three, and now we see this enter at filter align. So let's just click on that. And you can also choose to enter if the price breaks above the previous bar for a long, or below the previous bar for a short, you can leave that unchecked. 
But as long as you have the enter at filter align, when all of your filters are in alignment, it's going to take that trade. So let's set up the rest of our filters. So filter two is going to be our opening range. So that is above upper for the long, below upper to turn it off, below lower for a short, above lower to turn it off. And again, guys, watch the previous videos to learn how to extract these tags. Those videos will go over that a whole lot better. So for my MACD, I'm just using a plot and I'm doing a cross above for my long and cross below to turn it off. Cross below to turn on my short, cross above to turn off my short. And all of these can get set to a value of zero. And that should be all that we need. Let's go to our chart. All right, so here on our chart, just going to enable it. And guys, remember, if you're using a plot, just select it from the dropdown. Here I'm using the diff because that tracks the distance between our lines. So when it's above zero, our green is going to be above our red. When it's below zero, the green is below the red. And just one thing I wanna point out with our new validation system, when you're using two or more filters, you're going to see these dots. And these dots are just going to represent your actual filters. So this is filter one, filter two, filter three. And here you can track the status of each filter so you know which one's turned on and which one's turned off. So when all three are in alignment in one direction, so here all three are short, your short button is going to turn on. If all three are in alignment for your long, your long is going to turn on. All your filters must be true at the same time in order for them to turn on. If only one of them is not true, it's going to turn off that filter. So again, this just helps get a visual to see what is actually going on with your indicator. As you can see, we have one red one, that is your third filter, and that is because your MACD is below zero. So that is to the short side. So let's just hit play, and hopefully we can get some sort of an entry. So here we have that multi time frame turned to the short side. You can see our first filter also turned to the short side. So now all we need is that opening range to be short as well, and then it's going to submit that order. All right, here the MACD crossed above zero, that is your diff, and you can see over here, it turned on to the long side now. And because the MTF turned off, this is our exit signal, this turned white, it's no longer valid for either direction. Here, our MACD is above zero. Our opening range gave us a long entry signal. So both two and three are turned on. Now we're just waiting for that multi time frame signal, and then it should enter us into that trade. There we go. We got that multi time frame. You can see all three are in alignment. It turned our filter on. And then it just submitted our order once everything was in alignment. I'm going to keep it running and see if we can get another example. I might have to fast forward quite a bit, but I'll see you in just a second. Actually, right here, we got another signal. You could see that we had our MACD to the short side. And then once we got back into it crossed above, I think just barely touched it but it got us back into the trade once all three were back in alignment. Yeah, I think that one just crossed above barely, but, but again, you can define that however you want directly within the properties. But I think I'm going to cut the video here. I think that just about explains everything. It's just a way to combine multiple filter signals and take a trade once everything is in alignment. And this way you don't have to create multiple filters, multiple entries, you can just have everything condensed into a simple filter. And when all of those filters are in alignment, it's just going to execute your trade that easy. But I hope you guys found this video useful. Links for everything are going to be down below. As always, take care, enjoy.